Austin, and I'm glad I'm leaving already. I got back here last time I drove here and this time I flew here so yes I am back in good old brotherly love Philadelphia so I'm gonna see how long I'm gonna be over here for and uh, see what's going to be going on y'all that was one heck of a flight there that was one heck of a flight uh, you'll see my other videos pop up and this is gonna be a little out of sequence but you know I just want to show you my flight and so you guys know I did arrive I did arrive so, let's see what we have right here. I forgot Philly. You can park outside and be okay. Let's see here. Let's see here. What's up, girl? See? What's up, girl? What's up, girl? I thought you were. <laughs> Back in Philly, y'all. Back in Philly. I know y'all waiting to see. Y'all been waiting to see. Let's <sighs> see here. <laughs> Someone's hiding. She doesn't want to be on camera. <laughs> Who is that, Emily? No, it's the world. <laughs> it is the world. No. Hello, world. It's the world. All right, we gotta eat. Hey guys, how's it going? Yep, I'm on my way um, to Delaware, believe it or not. And I'm gonna be at home base. So, guys are around, stop by home base. Uh, don't tell the guys there that I'm coming. They probably watch this video anyway. If they're on Facebook, and probably know I'm coming now. But uh, hey, what the hell? But I've been stop by there to see the, you know, the old gang and uh, see what's going on up there. So, home base on Conquer Pike up there and 202. And uh, yeah, hey guys, you know, hope to see you. I'm sorry for the late message, but you know, we'll probably get together if I don't. I'm in town for like a week, so talk to you soon. See you, hope to see you up there. Up there on Conquer Pike at home base. The old cactus, the old scrimmages. So I haven't been here in what? Whew. It's been years. I'm back in Delaware. I know you guys probably said, Dad, come on. What's going on? Why are you in Delaware? Well, I ain't seen these guys in so long. I never been over here. I'm gonna see if someone's hanging out in my old, my old, my old stomping grounds and see what's going on. It is raining outside. It's freaking cold outside. And see what's happening. <laughs> Out in Philadelphia, Chinatown, y'all. This is where I got married at. This area right here. These guys right here. This is the famous, famous, famous Vietnam restaurant. It catered my wedding. It's my boy Lay right there. He's one of the one of the owners. And uh, yeah, so you know, if you get if you come out, check these guys out, and we'll, we'll check out the other spot tomorrow. Um, and while I'm here, I might as well get to see everything. So, man, back in back in old Philly, back in Philly. This is crazy. So, we're gonna check it out. See what we're getting into tonight.
shit, man. This shit's crazy. Middle of the night, up at Phillips. Yup, 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 yup. Fuck Gino. Fuck all the other guys. We do this all night long. All night long. It's back in the old days. That's what we do. Ah, never changed, never changed. South Philly, I've been back here in like 25 years in South Philly. Uh, oh, Pep Boys. Pep Boys over there. Look at that Pep Boys. See, you ain't freaking Pep Boys. You know? Still the best place in the world. Still the best place in the world. Y'all don't know about this. You go to South Philly, this is where you got to be at. This is where you're going to be at. Right here. Right here. Pat Shunk and Shunk and, and, and was it Hamburger? This is it. Phillips. You guys check it out. Right here. You know, 23rd and Pat Shunk. This is the place you got to be at. We're going to do our sandwiches. Always great. Always great. Cash only. Remember that. Cash only. Don't be trying to come up here with no credit cards. <laughs> you got an ATM right there. You got the ATM right there. Come here. You know, get that Get that good food right now. Middle of the night. This is it. It's not packed in here like it used to be. Not packed like it used to be. You know. But, you know. You, know, you got me all. Look at that. And tomorrow we go over to Cosme's and have a sandwich at Cosme's in the morning. You know, get Cosme's, get those sandwiches. And after that, get that South Philly Italian from Cosme's. Take you back to those old days. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, Susan, Susan Baldino. She was a blessing in this place. I tell you what. I tell you what, old Susan. Miss this girl. Miss this girl. My birthday. Mm. Oh, oh my goodness! Look at that. Mm. 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 Midnight dinners. Midnight dinners. Mm. You guys don't know. I'm gonna tell you. It's been so long. Yeah. You ever see a Vietnamese guy eat, eat a cheesesteak? <laughs> yeah, they eat American food. They do, they do. They really eat American food. <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's been so long. I tell you. Wait till tomorrow. It even gets better. Whew. Wow, it's a, I'm on my... Uh, I don't know what day it is now. I guess it's like... I think well, it's Wednesday, so, and I've been blowing, throwing burbs, like little things, little videos and everything up there about, you know, what I'm doing out here, like what, what I'm not, what I'm doing, you know, me doing things out here. It's, uh, it's been cool. It's been cool. I haven't been back to East Coast in seven years, but I haven't like hung out in Philadelphia really in a lengthy time in, in 20 22 years, eh, 20, yeah, 22 years now. So, I just wanted to uh, get some things up, get some things out up, up on the internet and uh, up on YouTube and let you see what you know where I come from and uh, visit the old stopping front grounds. I'm primarily starting out here, like from from 19. I say 1994 when I got out here. I first met my wife, so I'm in the old neighborhood. It's um, Philly's not the Philly I left. You know, it's actually uh, you can feel the tension, you can feel it, you can hear it. Like all the police, I haven't heard that many police cars in one morning in, in, ever. Um, from well, it started off at like. Like seven seven p.m. and then into like, like what? To like maybe eleven thirty. It was crazy to hear that many. But I mean, everyone's saying you know, Philly's this thing, Philly's that. We're gonna walk around. We're gonna find out. That's the best way to do it. Let's see what's out there. And uh, I got some I have some errands to run, so I might as well have you run some errands with me, and hopefully we can end up in. Uh, 
and kind of see the old, the really my old neighborhood that in South Philly. I'm in West Philly now, so let's see with um, you know what what it brings us and see how things are. See how things are. I know a lot of change, and maybe even go to the Reading Terminal was that probably be cool too. So and I'm gonna be down. I'll be down on Art Street. You'll see like where we got married at. You'll. You see the, you know, all the cool stuff, a lot of cool stuff. And a lot of you that you that was there, you'll remember these things. So I'm happy. I'm excited to be back. It's been way too long. And um, I'm just, I'm a little overwhelmed, I'm going to say. A little overwhelmed. Um, I know there's a lot going on that I got to get done. So a little, just a little overwhelmed out here. You can feel the tension and it is, it is. It is thick in this city. And I didn't think it was like, I thought it was just like a mental thing when I would hear people say that. But it is. It's uncomfortable tension. Really uncomfortable tension. So, um, yeah. Let's jump right into it. Oh, man. We're going to walk the block for a little bit. foo -wah. This is the spot that when I first got to Southwest Philly, this is where it was at. Well, South Philly. This is where I spent a lot of my time. It is definitely uh, cool to be back here and uh, and checking it out. It's going to Fuwa. What's up, man? Yo, I locked the door. No, I'm cool. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go for a walk. Oh, I'm gonna okay. go for a walk. Then I'm run over. Then I'm run to the bank. Okay. When you all come right. back, uh, if you start here, I'll, 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 all right. I'll, I'll, all right. Cool. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, no, I'm just like a... So this is like where my a lot of my uh, my friends are at. We can walk over. We can walk around here. Go see the old old neighborhood. Let's go see the old neighborhood. Yeah. Lee's Deli. <laughs> we come down here. I see how he was looking. And Lee's Deli. They said we could have. Yeah. We left it too. So, hold on. And let me see what else is over here. Okay, Delac. All right, Delac is probably one of the best, one of the best uh, Ethiopian restaurants in town. You spend a lot of time in here. It's uh, looks like it's renovating. Are they renovating there? Or is it just like either window? Nah, it's still here. It's still here. It's still fun. It's the lock. It's the lock right here. Yeah. Yeah, check it out. Yeah. Good times. Good times. So, yeah, just checking out the old neighborhood. You know, things have changed. You know. Man, I tell you what, there are so many times, you know, coming back here from like hip hop shows and everything, just, um, wow. Me and the wife, this is where me and the wife, we were, me and Emily met. And, um, you know, another cafe. Bantin Cafe, Tao Cuisine. This is where me and my wife, when we first place, I, you know, when I met her, she lived at. And she like, they were, they actually, back in the day, they would, they would, they were getting houses that were abandoned because this whole area was abandoned. And they would, you know, move in, take over. They would squat the house. And I thought it was crazy. I, I never heard nothing like that coming from where I come from. It's not something that, uh, it's not something that, you know, I've ever heard in my life was, you know, someone squat. I didn't know what squatting meant, but the West Philly home is pretty big. Look at this house on the, on the corner. It is, they're pretty big. They're pretty big houses, you know, they're pretty big houses. But we're gonna walk around the corner to where 
she used to live. Look at the size of this place. These things were like mansions, like multiple rooms. And, and this is all one house right there. That's one house right there in the corner. <laughs> it had a lot going on. You know, you, had, you, lived, you lived there. So, uh, we'll crawl across the street, not, not get caught. Not get caught, um, you know, jaywalking. So, and then here it is. We're on Baltimore, 48th and Baltimore. Let me get across the street here. Then we'll, we'll sneak back around and do our thing because I do gotta go downtown. So she has a walk. She's gonna be amazed because she doesn't see the old neighborhood. And um, man, man, it's uh, it's pretty awesome seeing it like right now. You know, in the, the neighborhood we grew up on. Well, the neighborhood we met on start dating the house we lived in and um let's see here Whew, a little walking tour a little walking tour it's not that bad out today it's like 48 degrees so so it's not that bad at all all right so my boy robo him his girlfriend lived over here if i don't if i'm not mistaken as well and just imagine okay i think we're oh yeah yeah 48 beaumont beaumont avenue and you know 48th and beaumont so i know we're here i know we're here so you can see 48th and Beaumont and um wow let's bring back this it's kind of chill bring back old memories bring back old memories and um it was like I almost got butterfly it's just I'm like it's weird to me it's really weird to me right now so if I'm not mistaken his ex-wife used to live in this apartment over here. I can't remember, but I'm not really sure. Oh, I'm not mistaken. Look at the size of that cat. Hey, kitty. Hey, kitty. Hey, kitty, kitty. Hey, kitty, kitty. So, we have friends that lived over here. Hey, kitty, kitty. Yeah. <laughs> hey, cats. <laughs> <laughs> so we are friends that lived over here and uh wow i think um this is amazing just still here still here we had opportunity to buy it we never bought it and uh it was a lot going on in this house back of the house fell off <laughs> there was a lot going on it just was an amazing place this whole neighborhood i think my wife had opportunity to sell to buy that house across the street and at that time it was worth like sixty thousand, believe it or not so you know she didn't we, at the, we just didn't know better back then and everything we know now you know but this was it this is the house this is where we uh where we first um spent our spent our beginning years together you know and start dating and everything else is this, it's quite an amazing uh, time. And, uh, and then my cousin, his house, his mom and his house were right here. And it was weird. I lived next to them probably for, for like two years before I realized that, you know, they're right next to our neighbors. And the irony it was just just strange because i used to live with them as a kid and uh and then they ended up moving over but this was there was a lot of fun probably they probably they, they brought a lot of questions for this house i thought they really may have fixed it up though more than what i see but um it looks like it's pretty much the same almost from what it used to be but yeah yeah this was it it's kind of cool so <laughs> they don't see me they were like hey, what's going on with this guy why is he filming our house but uh so 
I think, you know, I'm going to go back this way. And we're going to take a look at another area and see. This is still painted the way it was when we left. Hasn't been changed at all. And you'll actually see, I'll show you a picture of, of me and the kids and, and my, my nieces outside the house, which was cool. And, um, yeah, man, bring back some serious memories. Yeah, yeah, because I think he yeah, was an apartment building and he lived here. And Rob will stay next door and Rob will come over and uh, work on the, work on, work on his, on his, uh, on his artwork so he can get, so he can actually work for big, some big clients that he's worked for. He's had the opportunity to work for some major, major clients in the, in the sneaker industry. So, and sportswear industry. Big clients too. Man, he, he's amazing me. But, um, yeah, let's go see. You know what? We used to tease him and and say that he was uh he was uh, his 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 daddy was the george jefferson of west philly and he, his dad had a um had a shop around here it's uh you know it was like right around the corner so let's see if we can get up to up to like i think it was like before like 49th so let's see if we walk up to like around 49th around fifth around 50th and check it out then then we're gonna take a cruise down and uh downtown take a ride downtown to and uh check some things out check out where we got married at and do that so let's see here we go uh -huh. Uh, across the street, okay. It's a coffee shop down here. A little bit of a uh, everything, a little coffee shop, fun place. Yeah, and. These houses were all squatted in. I mean, it was it was all the way down. Squatters, everyone we know, <laughs> squatting these houses. It was crazy. It was it was uh, 1994. Is when the time it was, and you know this is where it was like the whole whole neighborhood was pretty much open, and there was just so much that was going on. You know, it was so much that was going on. I, I, I guess the biggest thing was the abandonment of West Philly. It was, it was abandoned. There you go. And um, it was really abandoned. And they still got that that look, like you know, the the anarchists. Anarchists kind of lived over here, and they did their. They did the thing and but they took care of the neighborhood really you know they, they actually re did a lot of stuff in the houses i think some of them actually end up buying their houses and things i think they end up doing that and spending time fixing the houses up and you know that was a that was that was the movement back then you know it was 90 it was 93 94 that was the movie there's another there's a food co-op was it here of course we was over here it's pretty, uh, pretty cool. Mariposa Food Co-op. So, uh, one thing I loved about Philadelphia, they take a lot of the older buildings, they fix them up. They did something, you know, they repurposed them. So, a lot of time out here. Spent a lot of time out here. This deli right here is with. They did one of your Coke 45. <laughs> like, I can't remember. Yeah, this is where we used to get it at over right here. This deli. <laughs> and get on my get on my malt liquor right there. So look at these guys over here doing some work on a building over there. Little stuffy trolley.
cross, the cross, the cross. Let's take a look. I'm, I'm, I'm curious. I'm sure, I'm sure my boy want to know. You know, what's his, what's his, uh, his dad's old spot look like too? What happened? You know, I'm sure. I mean, he knows probably better than I do. But it's a dollar plus, and it's here. It's like a Spanish joint. Fine wine, good spirits. I believe that what it became is a liquor store. I believe it came a liquor store. You know, because I'm not. I'm thinking this is the this is the spot right here. So. Yeah, I'm thinking as this is it. And I know a lot has changed over the years. So let's keep walking, let's keep walking. It's about as far as I used to go. I wasn't about trying to go all over the place back in the day. I wasn't all about that, trying to be everywhere. You know, I just was, it was just a different energy, different vibe. Everything was chill, you know. A little record, a little record store, common beat. Man, I wish I was selling stuff out here. Look at that! Look at that! Ooh. This is at the barber shop, talking heads. And um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh yeah, I remember this spot. <laughs> it was a beauty spot. A beauty spot is uh, Definitely was cool. Definitely a cool spot. I don't know. We used to go to crazy places like that. One wife don't get there. She didn't used to get that type of hair. But all right, this is what I wanted to see. And that's, I know this is everyone. Every, a lot of our friends haven't been here in a while. They want to see if it's still open. And guess what? Firehouse is still open. It is still open. You know, the fireworks co working. I don't know if it's what it used to be. It's more of a restaurant now. But it used to be, yeah, I guess it's not really. It used to be where you went and there was a, it was like an indoor, indoor food market. And you would come here and, um, and basically do your shopping, you know, like, like, like a co-op environment, like co-op. So, there's Firehouse Bicycles. I don't know, something tells me to go check out Firehouse Bicycles. Someone's like, you know, go check it out. Tuesday, Saturday, 11 to 7. You know. What's back there? Satellite Coffee Shop. Something's telling me to go check out Firehouse Bicycles. I don't know why. Maybe somebody's up there. Maybe maybe there's somebody up there I suppose to I suppose to run into. We do a lot of bike repair guys out here. So and just to see. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. Can we go in there? I don't guess we can. So. Feeling like pressure around like finances, but also like not. You know what I mean? Looks like there's another side. Oh, this inside. Yeah, right here. It's right there, wrong door.
Hey, how's it going, man? I used to live over here 30 years ago. So, <laughs> so I'm just like filming like the old neighborhood. It's the area I met my wife in. So yeah, I'm just like, and it was, of course there wasn't a bike shop here. It used to be like a food, like a food co-op downstairs. Yeah, like some um... No, it was like the whole neighborhood had like food co-op back in the day. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, it was pretty, it was pretty cool. Free, and, free dive street, Vernon. You know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, it's just cool. I just stopped in here. I was like, maybe I see somebody here used that used to fix bikes for us somewhere in the city and and stuff. And how long have you guys been here? Um, twenty five years. Twenty five years. So I must just just missed you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just missed you. Yeah, yeah. It's been a long time, man, since I've been in West Philly. Yeah. So, well, yeah, yeah. What brought you back to? Uh, I just came out here. <laughs> I was. I want to get. I, I want to take a break before before uh, Super Bowl. I live in Vegas. Uh, so, yeah. I want to take a break before the Super Bowl. Came out to see all my friends, and and uh, my best friends. They own the restaurant around the corner, which is a Vietnam Cafe oh, and nice. Vietnam yeah. Restaurant. So, yeah. so I'm staying with them, mm -hmm. and, they're, and they're like, check out the old neighborhood. We've been <laughs> we've been yeah. there forever. You know, a lot of new things just popped up. Oh yeah, um, yeah. So you've been here for a while. Uh, this shop is here for. No, but you. I'm talking about you. You. I've been here for like five years. Oh, okay. So not okay. too long. Also not. Okay. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I haven't been here in thirty years. So. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, no, we left in. Uh, we haven't been in West Philly since uh, ninety six. Mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah almost twenty eight years. years. Almost thirty years. Twenty eight. Yeah. Yeah. All right, man. I just want to see and check things out. Yeah, <laughs> Be <yeah>. nosy. <laughs> Talk to you. Thank you. You too. That was cool. Got to see. He said he was there for 25 years. I guess I never went upside, upstairs. It's amazing things you didn't do. It, you take advantage that you don't take advantage of. And you know we had we had pretty much of a loyalty where we went and we walked down all the way down and where is it? Down Baltimore Avenue and had a bike had a bike shop down there. And we would walk down there and that's where we would actually uh, go to and go and go uh, and go get our bikes fixed. So like I said, it's kind of cool to have an opportunity to just walk around and and just see the old 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 spots that you were that you grew up in and and document them and everything. You should try it, you should definitely try it. But uh yeah. <laughs> it's I miss the anar anarchists and, and all that stuff to also how they they knew how to you don't see this that many places especially in, in Vegas you're not going to see this so it's definitely uh, you know had, had his own character loved it love it these old wigs and <laughs> sitting in the window from back in the day yeah, I gotta ask the liquor store guy. Was the spot the in uh, uh, dry cleaners? Like I said, his father was the was the um, was had had that dry cleaners for so long. So you know, um, I'm curious if that was it. What's cool record store? Cool record store right there. All stuff over here. And uh, hot box, New York hot box. I wonder what that is. Let's check that out. Let's see. Let me ask him. Let's see. Excuse me. Was this the old um, dry cleaners back in the day? No, the dry cleaners next door. It was next door? Okay. All right. Thank you. Oh, okay. Okay. That's what's up. 
So that wasn't, it's right here. All right. I didn't even see white seal dry cleaning. I didn't even know. So she said they're renovating and renovating this old, the old spot. I know it's like, man. Yep, this was a spot right here. So that's good to know that it's still here. You know, it was a staple in the community. It, it was, that's what the community was all about. You know, that's what it was all about. That was part of it. All right, so we're gonna, what's next? What's next? Next thing we're gonna do, next thing we'll do, we're gonna, there's a one stop. We're going to, uh, we need to head out to uh, Chinatown. Head on out to Chinatown. From Chinatown, go over to South Philly. From South Philly, we probably come back here after that. We definitely come back here after South Philly. So. And. And we'll work that. But. Yeah, this is like uh, you're talking about. Man. I mean, you haven't been back in the neighborhood in 30 years you're like you know it's it's uh, you got to see like where you came from i, I ain't doing so, y'all gotta do it you yeah, gotta, gotta do it. see you gotta do it it's right here just yeah. in the wood it's gonna stay some people will be like hey that is the Mar mariposa it is the old shop but we'll see 